the new head coach at Colorado. The great Deion Sanders is here. <laughs> Let him get the memo that we were all wearing ties. Nobody. All of us. All of us. Even him. Even him. All he went us. from tank top to tie. I love that. You know what? <laughs> Deion is here scouting. You're yeah. starting your season with TCU next yeah. year. Oh, you know? wow. Well, well, Maybe. May that may change. Oh, it may change. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 what, what has it changed? What has it changed? Hey, what has it changed? It's the difficulty of repeating. You know what it's like as a player. You right. were able to repeat as a Super Bowl champion mm -hmm. and then tried to do it with the team the following year, and it didn't work out. How, how difficult is that? Why is it difficult? It, it, it's not easy. It's very difficult because you have new guys coming in. The main thing is you want those guys that you're counting on to be the guys that you're counting on. Unfortunately, some of those guys lay an egg. Some of those guys don't show up, and that's the problem. When the main guys don't show up for you, that poses a severe problem. Obviously, the enemy of great is good, right? Because once you get good, you start getting content. You don't want to continue to work. The enemy of a dynasty is winning one championship and letting it go. Fran, you're obviously going to Colorado, a place that's been looking for some sort of championship for 20 years. You're also one of the greatest speakers I've ever heard. Thank you're you. Kirby Smart talking to these boys, and let's act like you're going to be doing this in Colorado in a very, hey, we're trying to win now, right. in a very near future. What are you saying to your team? Well, well first of all, you got to get your – the guys, the main guys, they don't have to buy in. This is how we do it. This is what we do. So it's just consistency. It's the consistency that has to be established, not only on the practice field, but off the field. And those guys have to be the same. You can't get here and all of a sudden change. You don't want to see a different mannerism of somebody, and especially the coach. You see, everybody's talking about the players. But you got to coach the coaches, too. The coaches cannot get complacent, and they can't look around and start thinking about jobs and going elsewhere and right. thinking about their next move. They, has to be, they have to be consistent as well. When I was drafted in 1992, the Washington at that point was the Redskins. Now the Commanders, they had won the Super Bowl. And Coach Gibbs, he was so stressed trying to win it again, trying to repeat. And he used to talk about that. He would talk to the players and he would talk to the coaches. And I remember we played Atlanta. And Deion Sanders was on the Falcons. And it was like my, one of my first games. And here I am about to return the punt. Brian Mitchell was back there with me. He threw a lateral. I took the punt all the way to the house. My first touchdown. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm happy. Deion, what happened after that? I was so mad. <laughs> I was so upset. I wasn't even returning punts. I told the punt return, get the kickoff return. Kick off, kick get off, off, kick off. Get off the field. I got this. I took it to the house and looked over at Desmond and said, what? <laughs> what? Oh, that's the pressure to try to repeat, baby. You know what I mean? That is crazy. He took it personal. That's yeah. awesome. Deion, that's a great story. to have you with us. Thank and, uh, you. If you decide that the TCU Colorado game is not happening, let us know first. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Arizona State may happen. That, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. All right, all we need is a duck out here. We can do a commercial. Coach Deion Sanders, talk and repeat. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.